A-level English involves a study of how humans use language to convey ideas across time and space. Through the study of a range of literary fiction and non-fiction texts, students are able to deepen their understanding of how speakers and writers use language to create powerful voices for themselves and their characters, as well as having the opportunity to hone their own skills as writers of both fiction and non-fiction texts. Here at Kingsbridge, we offer the Edexcel A-Level in English Language and Literature. The course is broken down into three units. Two of these are external exams, which are taken at the end of Year 13. The third unit is an NEA task, which is started at the end of year 12 and completed over the course of year 13. Paper one is themed around the study of voice in text with the idea of linguistic voice concerning the ideas and values that are conveyed through speech and writing. Students are initially introduced to the frameworks of linguistic analysis and then the technical methods that they require to be able to analyze writers' methods with precision. They then apply these to the study and analysis of the play Streetcar Named Desire and to an anthology of literary non-fiction texts. Throughout all aspects of the course, students study the areas of language and literature in combination. We're always looking at how texts are constructed in order to convey ideas. We use a stylistics approach, where we're looking at how meanings are constructed through the different range of language frameworks. Paper two is themed around the study of society and the individual. In this part of the course, students study Shakespeare's Othello alongside The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Having studied the text as separate entities in Year 12, Year 13 involves exploring how both texts present shared thematic ideas around the concept of society and the individual. This means looking at the presentation of race, gender, identity and belonging in the texts, and exploring how the views of these issues are shaped by historical and social contexts. Assessment in both papers one and two takes the form of essay-based tasks, with each paper being worth 40% of the overall course. The third element in the course is the NEA, which is completed in year 13 and is worth the final 20% of the overall qualification. For this, students produce a portfolio of their own writing, along with a commentary in which they explore their own choices as writers. As part of this process, students select a theme that's of personal interest to them, and independently read a range of fiction and non-fiction texts as part of their own research. They then plan and write their own fiction and non-fiction texts that also link to this theme. This part of the qualification in particular is engaging for students who enjoy creative aspects of English and are keen to read more widely and more independently. English Language and Literature is an A-level which allows you to develop skills in analytical and critical thinking. You'll evaluate texts and seek to build strong conceptual arguments in order to support our interpretations of texts. Furthermore, you'll engage with texts as constructs and become more conscious of writing as a craft involving deliberate decisions. Through the meta-language that you learn in the course, you'll be able to explore writers' choices with precision and make informed choices about your own writing. Alongside creative skills, you'll develop formal academic written style, allowing you to present scholarly arguments in a logical manner using reasoned justification. A-level English ties in well as a subject with many other areas of study at sixth form. There are particularly close links with drama, history, psychology, media and philosophy, but some of our students combine English with a wide range of other subjects, including maths and sciences. An A-level in English is viewed highly by both universities and employers, as well as allowing students to progress onto higher level study of English, an A-level in the subject can open to doors to many other areas of study and employment such as law, journalism, education, marketing and business. If you'd like to learn any more about the specification or the course content, either visit the Edexcel website or contact any member of the English team here at Casey.